right, welcome back to arrangement part two. So let's see what else we can get involved with in this arrangement view. So the clips, obviously during a project you want to copy them, arrange them, drag them, position them, and things of that nature. So let's look at kind of some of the features we got going on there. Like in almost all DAWs, um, you can just drag it to the next location you want it. You know, you can uh, resize it, things of that nature. If you need to copy it, I'm working on a Mac, so copy there would be um, Command B, and do that as much as I want. Making copies. I can copy multiple clips at once if I need to. Simply highlight what I want. Again, Command D. And the, what you'll notice here is it'll actually copy the space if you've selected that in your process. So in other words, if I just select the clip, Command D, I just copy the clip. But if I choose to select some space, either before or after the clip, now I do Command D, and I'm going to get that space. So let me go ahead and delete that. So some of the other things we've got going on here, again, are down on the right. The first button we've got here is absolute snapping. So as I move the clip around, you're going to see, let me zoom in a little bit here, that it's going to want to go right with the grid. It's just going to snap right to the grid. And as you do that, if you go real slow, it gets to a, the next area and it just kind of locks in there, just kind of pulls itself in. It's almost as if there's some sort of gravitational suction cup right there. It just wants to yank it right into that spot. And of course, the further in you go, the closer and more detail you get. And that is absolute snapping. You can choose to have that turned on or off. It's personal preferences, I guess. Um, next to that is a relative snapping. Um, and what you want to do here is it's kind of I don't use it. I mean, it's on by default, but what it's actually going to do is, is if you're copying clips and moving them around, it's going to conserve or keep any space between the two clips that has previously been there. So let's say I actually have this guy off and this guy off. I'm going to have some freedom here on how I move this clip. Now, I'm not really locked into any part of the grid. But if I copy it, it's going to continue to copy those spaces. Let me turn this guy off as well. And then the last one we've got on here is it's called um, Snap to Objects. So what you're going to watch now is, as you noticed just a second ago, I have all this freedom in moving the clip. Zoom in a little bit here. I have all this freedom and moving the clip, it's not locked to the grid, it's not stuck by any marker, it's pretty much my choice to put wherever I want. But what it will do during this setting is when I go to another bar or an next section, it will actually, as I get close, boom, it just locks right into that guy. So it's going to give you some freedom but also at the same point, it'll lock into the next bar or next segment. So that's the three buttons they've got for us down here. And that is some additional features that we see in the arrangement. Some really cool stuff, some basic stuff that pretty much, person, my personal preference is to kind of keep things locked in there. It's nice to know where exactly where you're at, and it's easy for editing as you move forward. So some of the things I enjoy along that way. Let's move on to the next video.